Thank you. The Honourable Member for Innisfail, Sylvan Lake, followed by Calgary Buffalo. Here, here. Service providers and families have long said that the support's intensity scale interview is humiliating. Here are some of the questions that are asked of clients in the SIS interview. What assistance would you need to have a romantic relationship up to and including an intimate one like other regular people your age? If you were a regular 28-year-old woman who wanted to take a course, would you need help? Did you ever expose yourself inappropriately? Do you steal? Can the Associate Minister explain why he is demeaning clients with developmental disabilities by asking themselves to compare themselves to regular people? Mr. Speaker, this government is focused on delivering a highest quality of service to Albertans who can lead fulfilling lives in the communities. Mr. Speaker, I answered this question yesterday. CIS is a tool which is used to make baseline assessment right across the province so we can deliver consistent services regardless where you live in the province, east, west, north, south. That's what the CIS tool is all about, Mr. Speaker. Supplemental. Regular people is, is offensive and demeaning. Given that the person with developmental disabilities is often unable to answer or comprehend the questions, and so someone is their proxy, and given that non-verbal individuals are subjected to these exact same questions and their proxy answers them for them, how does the Associate Minister believe that the Supports Intensity Scale Assessment is even remotely accurate? Here, here. Mr. Speaker, CIS is one of the tools which is used to make the assessment to meet the needs of the individual. To meet the needs of the individual, we use uh, their, uh, their uh, existing uh, support systems in place, their, their geographical locations. It's about their needs, their goals. That's what this tool is all about, Mr. Speaker. And when other people are answering the question or assisting the individuals, that's what they're assisting them. Their guardians, their loved ones, helping them to attain the goals, what they're looking for, Mr. Speaker. Final supplemental. Mr. Speaker, this minister is supposed to be an advocate. Given that yesterday the Associate Minister said that this is only one of the tools, as he has said today, and clearly based on this line of questioning, which is so offensive and demeaning to these clients, can the Associate Minister explain what other tools the PDD Ministry is using to assess needs for funding? <laughs> well, Mr. Speaker, I answered this question in my previous answer. To, to when, it talk, when we're talking about the fundings, we're looking at the needs, of this, the needs of the individual. Their geographical location plays a significant role. Their needs, their aspirations, their goals play a significant role, Mr. Speaker. And of course, it, it included all of this, is taking all of the services which are required to meet the needs of that individual.